What's up guys, my name is Wang and I'm going to be outlining some of the key things that you can start doing today to help you rank up in Valorant's competitive playlist. The most underrated thing that you can do to start ranking up faster is to become a more effective communicator. The rule of thumb for effective comms is less is more. You want to tell your teammates important information quickly and you don't want them to miss an important call from another teammate. This tip is especially important in the lower elo brackets where good communicators are very hard to come by. The things that are important to communicate to your teammates are constantly changing as the round progresses. Typically, position callouts are always good. Once you see an enemy, they register on the minimap for your whole team. This is why a lot of people do the shoulder jump peek around boxes. You may have teammates that are hard scoping an angle and they can't look away to look at their minimap. By feeding this information to them, they don't need to risk looking away which may result in their death. Another key callout is typically when you die. If you die, you definitely have info on where an enemy is, and you can typically tell if they're pushing a site or a spot on your death. Feed this information to your teammates quickly and concisely. Other pieces of this call that may be significant is the type of weapon you were killed by. This may tell your team if your opponent is on a save round or using a niche weapon to hold or play a certain way. If you get killed by a judge in a tight space, you definitely need to make sure that your team doesn't engage it with rifles, or if there's an op holding a long angle, again, you probably don't want to be engaging with it unless you have an effective plan ready to execute. Effectively communicating also means letting your teammates play when you are dead. If you happen to see something from a teammate's perspective that they may have missed, I definitely recommend calling it, again, concisely. Remember, the more words you say, the easier it is for your team to confuse it for something else. Also, if you are constantly talking, your team is probably going to mute you, and then you'll have the ability to make zero callouts. My second point for helping you rank up is establishing a positive and collaborative team vibe early on. When you and your teammates are meeting for the first time, you're tasked with assembling a team. Some people will insta-lock a duelist right out of the gate, Others will hover over characters that they would like to play. I encourage you to be a person who hovers over your character until your team has the ability to have a conversation to discuss why everyone should play their respective agents. If you insta-lock Jet within a split second of loading in, you can lose your teammates' trust in an instant and this can lose you games in the long term. Another thing I would suggest is a little friendly banter before the game starts. Sometimes it's nice to find things that you have in common with internet strangers and laugh about something lighthearted before you start focusing in on the game to help build trust and camaraderie with your teammates. Sometimes this is the difference between someone buying you a rifle when you can't afford one or being picked to be rezzed by your sage. Having the favor of your teammates certainly doesn't hurt where, if they don't trust you or like you, you probably won't get buys, you won't get rezzed, and they'll be less likely to trust callouts as well. My third point is to be an active listener. Just like how you think your callouts are important, your teammates think the same way. If your teammates are making callouts for you, definitely listen to them and thank them when the round is done. These callouts help you piece together a puzzle of missing information that can only be effectively put together from the perspective of all five teammates. If you dismiss your teammates' callouts, they won't give you callouts because it's just a waste of their breath. I've played some games where 10 rounds go by and nobody says anything. And on that topic, to be honest, saying nothing is 1000% better than if one of your teammates is toxic. So that's my last point. Don't be toxic. You can lose games so fast if you are toxic to your teammates in chat or even to the other team. Hopefully this video helps some of you tweak your comms a bit to climb a little faster. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. If you made it to the end, make sure to leave a poggers in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and as always, Wang out.